Hi, welcome to Parameter Trick House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can make a series of uh, parametric trusses from a base surface. Uh, as you can see here, I can change the number of U, the number of division in the V direction. Uh, we're going to talk about the truss toggle and also a factor which is going to change the shape of the uh, trusses by moving the surface up and down, which I'm going to explain. Uh, further in this tutorial. So what we're going to learn is how we're going to uh, convert this surface into a series of trusses in the UV direction. Uh, let's get started from scratch. Uh, uh, what I want to do is to make a NURB surface in Rhino. So uh, this part is not really that important, but I always use this technique to uh, make a freeform surface. I draw a rectangle, rebuild it, and use the soft edit uh, surface command to move that a little bit up. Uh, you can increase the U and V distance if you want to, if you just give that. For this one, it's like 150. Uh, so the U is more deformed than the V. Okay, now that we have the base surface, let's bring that into Grasshopper. Uh, go to the params menu, geometry and surface. Uh, set, um, put that sunglasses on so you can see the name uh, right click and set the surface to the nerve surface we have here uh, I'm going to turn this off and internalize this so we don't need the Rhino uh, geometry okay uh, after we have produced the surface uh, what I want to do here is to use the launchbox plugin so if you have installed the launchbox plugin you have an L here which is the launchbox and we can go to the structure and for this tutorial, I want to use the 2D truss. So I'm just going to select this. Uh, as you can see here, it uses two curves to make the truss. So we need a curve A and curve B. Uh, for example, if I draw a curve here in the front viewport and maybe make a copy from this with an Alt, set this to curve A and set this to curve B. Uh, you can see that we can produce a series of, uh, by defining the division, we can make a parametric truss between these curves. So if I just update the curve, the truss is also going to be updated. So it's a great tool if you want to make it between uh, two curves. Uh, what I want to do here is to make these two curves in uh, based on the surface. Uh, to do that, what I want to do here is to extract the ISO curves because if I want to, there are other ways to extract the curves. For example, you can go to intersection mathematical and use the contour. Uh, and for example, say contour this from this point in this direction, it will give you some curves. But the problem is that assume that we have a surface uh, like this. Okay. And we start making a contour from here. Uh, then it's going to give you a curve which is segmented and I don't think that that's a good idea for a truss because these parts uh, are going to be separated. So what I want to do is to give you a better technique which is ISO curve. So we can go to the curve, spline and use this ISO curve tool. Uh, display full names so you can see the inputs. Uh, the first is the surface. And here you can see a UV point. Uh, for the UV point, uh, actually there are two coordinates in Grasshopper. One is the X, Y, and Z. Obviously it's in the X, Y, and the Z direction. But when we have a UV, it's like uh, relative to the object, especially for the surfaces we have UV. That means that in the axis is a curve in the X direction, we call it uh, instead of X, we call it U. And then we have an axis in the V direction. And instead of Y, uh, we call it V. So remember that whenever you see a UV coordinate, it indicates that it's a two uh, axis with a curved dimension. And it's called UV instead of XY. And because the surface has, uh, has lots of uh, different UV coordinates, for example, if you want to see it, you can go to the params menu, primitive, and connect a domain 2 to this. And let's connect a panel to see that. And you can see that the U 
is between uh, 0 and 83. So, for example, this point is going to be 0, this point is going to be 83, and the V is like 0 to 100. I think that it's uh, the opposite, so it's like here. The U direction is here, it's 0 to 83, and in this direction it's going to be from 0 to 111. So what's going to happen is that we always have to find this if we don't, uh, that's going to make it complicated. What I want to do is to get rid of these numbers and make it from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 for the B, uh, both U and V. And that's a most important tool we have uh, in the inputs and that's reparametrize. Okay, so all uh, I have to do is to right click on this surface or the input surface and reparametrize. You can see if I uh, reparametrize here, I can see this. That's going to go to 0 and 1. Uh, and now that I have the 0, 1, 0, 1 uh, UV point, uh, I can simply go to vector point, construct point, and give it to the UV point. Uh, let's rename this to U and V. Okay, we don't need the Z coordinate, so I'm going to just put this into nothing. And for example, if I give this a 0 0.25, uh, you can see that uh, I can extract extract it here. Uh, so to make a series of them, we just have to make a range, a range of UVs. Obviously, it's between 0 and 1, what, exactly what we want, and the step is 3. 12 and now you can see that you can increase the number of UVs if you want to give it to V you can just give it to V and it's going to uh, extract the V direction uh, okay uh, based on U and V let's just bring this a little bit forward and uh, I'm going to go to params menu, pick up a curve and give it to the U curve. You can see it, this is for U. If I give it to the U, it's going to be V output. Uh, so based on your project, remember to check which one is the right curve. I'm going to turn this off and uh, uh, be sure that you're not selecting the wrong curve. Okay, now that we have the U curve, we can give that to the curve A. Uh, to make the second curve, uh, what you can do here is to use the project. Uh, in the transform menu, you can see that we have a fine and there's a project tool called project an object onto a plane. So I'm going to just project this uh, here. Uh, for the de uh, default, it's an XY plane. So why not just give it a point from the params menu, set the point. And now we can just move this point up and down because we have given a point to a plane it's going to be an XY plane so that's going to help us to control the height of the trusses and then we can give that to the curve B uh, let's decrease the number of the trusses we need here and then we can give a division number so it's like 3 to 12 and we can increase or decrease the number of divisions here just turn off everything and now we can see that that surface is going to define uh, how many uh, trusses you need here. And this is going to be the resolution of the truss. Uh, obviously, there's a truss toggle. You can see it's between uh, 0, uh, 1, and 2. It says two directional web, single direction, and reverse single. So what I want to do is to give it a number slider between 0 and 2. Give it to here. And then we can switch between different web configurations here if I uh, if we want to do that uh, then we have these primary lines which is the up and down part of the truss the brace lines the vertical lines and also the structure nodes so if you want to use that in your project you can do that so if you just simply give that a rectangular surface let's bring that up and give that to this surface you can see how easy it is to define that. The second point is obviously going to define where you want to make that truss or the height and uh, the number of division. The good thing about this is that if you select this uh, simple surface and say SOL, solid point on, you can also move the points of this surface and you can see that how easy it is to design 
these trusses based on you read so number of division if I want to I can go to V and give this one okay so this is the first step of the tutorial uh, I'm going to save this file so you can use it in your project uh, the next step is how to convert this truss into some thickness and also uh, convert the surface into a series of panels so I'm going to also talk about this uh, in the next lesson and thanks for watching remember to like this video subscribe to our channel so you get notified about our new lessons and see you next time bye